Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to talk about what's happening right now at the countywide level here in California. This is part two of my two part video series I make for you guys each and every month. If you guys missed my previous video, I went into great detail regarding inventory levels, home sales and home prices at the statewide level uh, just posted a few days ago. This video is all about uh, each of the regions and also each of the counties as well, because of course there's some very big changes here. So let's go ahead and dive right in. I have a lot to share. Uh, this is a snapshot looking at the state as a whole. And this, by the way, is a slideshow from the California Association of Realtors. Uh, so for the state as a whole, uh, and this is for June this year, sales decreased by 2.7%. The median sold price at just over $900,000, the third time ever in which home prices surpass $900,000. And that's up by 7.5% year over year and the months of inventory at three months, and also days in market at 18 days. Um, 18 days basically means you list your home for sale. Within 18 days, you get an offer accepted or you accept an offer from home buyer. So that's what's happening at the statewide level. I want to share that because here is the, each of the regions. So SoCal, home sales decreased by 11.5%. Um, something to note here as well is that the California Association of Realtors tracks five uh, major regions uh, in the state. And every single one of those recorded decrease in home sales compared to one year ago, but some actually reported gain compared to the previous month. Also, today's video is all about existing houses, excluding brand new home construction, and of course, excluding multifamily properties as well. So in SoCal, um, home sales decreased by 11.5%. Their median sale price, 875000 a little bit less than the statewide average at uh, $900,000, just under $901,000. That's an increase of 7.4 compared to, sorry, uh, the gain of 7.5% uh, at the statewide level. Uh, the month supply at 3.1 months, days in market, and also the sale price to final list price ratio is um, more or less in line with the statewide average. That means, by the way, that houses on average that did sell in June sold for the seller's final list price. Uh, in the Central Coast, which encompasses um, the Monterey Bay area, uh, Santa Barbara, for example, uh, sales decreased by nearly 10%, but we saw a huge increase in prices up by 8.9%, which is pretty astonishing because their median sold price at just under $1.1 million. Uh, the uh, month supply, days of market, and also this ratio is on par with the state as well. In the Central Valley, where I live and work as a real estate agent in, in the Sacramento area, covering the greater Sacramento area, uh, existing home sales decreased by 5.5%, quite a bit better than the uh, Central Coast down by 97 and SoCal down by 115 so the area your decrease is much lower than those other regions. Um, also, we're much lower compared to uh, other regions regarding um, home prices at 503000 up by 4.8%. Uh, the month supply, days of market, and this ratio is on par with the statewide as, uh, averages as well. The Bay Area, this is a different animal. The median sale price uh, increased by 5.8%. They're at $1.4 million, so basically $900,000 more than the Central Valley. Sales only decreased by 1.1%. And these other metrics here tend to be a lot more competitive, you want to call it that, because uh, the month supply is only at two months right now, days to market only 14 days, and also this ratio at 1024 which means on average for all the houses that sold in June, they sold for 2.4 percentage points higher than the seller's uh, final list price. Quite a bit higher than the 100% uh, ratio we're seeing uh, for the state as a whole. In the far north, sales basically tanked down by 16.3%. Uh, their meat and sale price, 409,000 up by 7.6%. And these metrics below here tend to be a little bit softer compared to other regions. All right, let's move on and talk about home sales. And this is kind of a really uh, interesting pie chart looking at sales for the month of June and where do those sales come from? So almost half of all so home sales that occurred in June came from SoCal at 43%, uh, which is basically the same amount uh, as uh, Central Valley and also the San Francisco Bay Area 
at around 22 to 23%. So most home sales are occurring in, in SoCal, after that Central Valley and the Bay Area. Uh, this is something interesting I, I found as well because um, home sales growth, which is kind of funny because every single region posted a decrease compared to uh, last month, uh, which was May and also compared to June of 2023, which is the blue bars there. So again, SoCal, Central Coast uh, down greatly and also far north down the most, down by 16.3%. Quite a bit less than the 5.5% uh, we're seeing here in the Central Valley. All right, moving on, let's talk about home prices because for the state, just under 901,000, that's the third highest ever and down slightly from the previous month's record high of $908,000. So down slightly from May, which was at 908, but this is the third highest on record, which data goes back to, I believe the early 1990s. Sales or home prices, excuse me, decreased on compared to the previous month, uh, down by 0.8%, uh, but we saw a big increase up by 7.5 from June of 2023. Here's a, a snapshot looking at um, the percent of houses that sold over the seller's asking price. I shared this slide with you guys a few days ago, but I wanna provide, um, I kinda wanna go over it very briefly because I wanna share how this compares to other regions and counties. So for the um, amount of houses that sold for over the seller's asking price, that did fall to a three month low at 47.2%. Uh, this is lower compared to one year ago when it was at 51% and much lower compared to the peak back in April of 2022, when that ratio was at 73%. So 73% of all houses that sold in April sold above the seller's asking price. Now we're at 47%. Now, even though we're below last year and below 2022 in April, we're still far higher compared to 2017, 18, and 19, when back then that ratio didn't really surpass 40%. Now we're at 47%. So the market is not as competitive compared to the past couple of years, but more competitive looking at pre-COVID levels. Looking at each of the counties here in California, here's the percent that sold over the seller's final list price, uh, which is right here at 50% means that more houses sold for above the seller's asking price than not. And there's actually seven um, uh, counties uh, that uh, more, more often than not, or I should say uh, on average, they sold um, over the seller's asking price. That was Alameda, Santa Clara, San Francisco, San Mateo, Contra Costa, Los Angeles, and Orange Counties, all on average selling over the seller's asking price. In contrast, all these other counties are selling for less than the asking price on average. So for example, in Sacramento, that ratio was at 45%. In Placer County, which is right here, that ratio was at approximately 40%. In contrast, of course, that means that approximately 60% in Placer County for all the houses that sold in June sold at or below the seller's list price. All right, let's change gears slightly again and talk about inventory levels because for the state as a whole, uh, this June, we're only at a three month supply, one year ago, 2.2 months. Um, I would say that real estate is local, right? Um, trends we're seeing in the U.S. Uh, vary greatly. We're seeing the Northeast basically exploding because um, they have a lack of houses for sale, uh, which is much different compared to Idaho, um, Texas, and Florida, where they have more houses for sale. So for comparison's sake, in Texas, for the second quarter this year, the month supply was at 4.6 months. That is at least, keywords, at least an eight-year high. Now, in California, the month supply is only at three months. Also, there's approximately 5% more houses for sale in Texas uh, compared to June of 2019. In contrast, in California, we're down by 34% during the same time frame. This, my friends, is one of the reasons why we have near record high home prices here in California, whereas some markets in Texas are experiencing decreases in prices compared to one year ago. Let's also have a look at um, active listings, which is housing supply uh, for each of these regions here. And this year is the orange bar, uh, which is right here. Um, what really caught my attention is the big increase of housing supply. The total amount of houses for sale in SoCal, it went from around 11,000 houses. Now it's at uh, about 15,200, a big increase compared to one year ago. In contrast, in the Central Coast, a small increase as well as the far north, a small increase as well. 
So a big difference of housing supply in SoCal compared to other regions. Another way to look at this for SoCal, this is a look at active listings, which is in gray, and closed home sales in June. And the delta here is about 51%, the biggest delta for these other regions. So for example, active listings in SoCal increased by nearly 40%, yet sales decreased by 11.5%. So a severe imbalance between supply, active listings up by 40%, whereas demand is decreasing down by 11.5%. So even though they have approximately 40% more homes to choose from if you're a home buyer, sales still decreased by nearly 12%. So that's the biggest difference, but also all these other regions have posted decreases in sales, yet active listings increased by at least 16%. Now, when we drill this down to each of the 53 counties, there's only three counties out of the 53 that have posted a decrease of active listings or housing supply compared to one year ago. Those three counties are Glen County, San Francisco, and San Mateo. In contrast, 50 of the 53 counties have posted gains. In fact, the biggest gain, Alameda County, up by a whopping, what, 85%, 83%. After that, very closely is Contra Costa County, up by around that same amount as well. Huge increase of inventory uh, from 12 months ago. Then we have Solano, Yuba, Calaveras, San Joaquin, and Santa Barbara, all up by more than 60%. In contrast, in Sacramento, we're up by about 40%. And also in Placer County, which is right about uh, here, Placer County has only increased by about uh, 30%. Can you say every housing market is different? All right, let's take a look at um, a, uh, the changes in home prices and home sales from last month and also compared to 12 months ago as well. So this is for the state as a whole, this first line right here. Uh, prices decreased by 8.8%, uh, excuse me, and up by 7.5%, yet sales decreased from last month and one year ago. Condos also fell. I mean, big decrease in condo sales in the month of uh, June compared to May, down by 16%. Uh, we already went over these other metro or these other regions, but the biggest uh, increases of home prices uh, compared to one year ago is actually in the Central Coast up by 8.9. The Central Valley rose by 4.8%. So every one of these uh, major regions here in California posted gains compared to 12 months ago, but it's actually a little bit mixed bag when looking at month to month changes. Um, one thing I will add is that um, we tend to see a decrease in prices starting in the middle or end of summer. So it's normal to see month to month changes decrease and we should expect us to see more, more of this, um, excuse me, in July and August. And of course, especially when we approach the winter um, uh, season as well. All right, let's talk about the uh, San Francisco Bay Area. Some very big changes here. Alameda County, their median sale price just under $1.4 million. Marin, $1.8 million. San Francisco, $1.65 million. San Mateo, $2.11 million. Santa Clara, uh, just under $2 million. It's absolutely astounding to see home prices there. I mean, look at this. Uh, Napa County rose by 12.9% in one single year. Uh, Marin up by 5%. In contrast, Contra <laughs> Costa County, excuse me, <laughs> uh, was down by 2.9%. Contrast, it kind of sounds like contrast. Anyways, um, we also saw a decrease in Sonoma down by 1.8%. Now looking at sales, we saw decreases in sales in Contra Costa, Marin, Napa, San Francisco, San Mateo, Solano, and Sonoma. The only um, counties that posted a gain from 12 months ago was Santa Clara County, as well as Alameda up by 4.8%. In Southern California, Orange County is the most expensive county there at 1.45 million, giant increase up by 15.1%, wow, uh, from 12 months ago. Uh, San Bernardino up by 11.2, San Diego uh, a gain of 10%, whereas Imperial County, Barely squeaked out a gain up by 1.8%. But all these counties posted big decreases in sales, except for San Diego, only down by 1.9%. And also uh, on a month-to-month -month basis, all these regions posted decreases as well. Not regions, excuse me, counties. 
in the Central Coast, Monterey. Love visiting Monterey. You're going to pay around $1 million for a house there. That's up by a whopping 30% in one single year. Uh, one thing I'll add regarding uh, Monterey and also um, some of these other counties I'm going to be going over here in a little bit is that they tend to have, um, they, they can have wide variations in uh, their trends on a month to month basis and also compared to one year ago, depending on the mix and sales. So, Monterey County, you can have a home that sold for $30 million or you can have a house that sold for $900,000. So if you have more expensive houses selling, let's just say that happened in June, that impacts the growth rate in the median sale price uh, for that uh, that month. So that's probably why we saw a big increase up by 30.5% in Monterey. This does not mean if you own a house in Monterey that your home value just increased by 30% in one single year. We're just talking about close home sales and of course the median sale price, which means Half the houses sold for above that amount and half sold below that amount. In any case, I digress because uh, looking at sales, uh, Monterey down 21% and Santa Cruz, uh, where I actually went to um, uh, college at UC Santa Cruz, uh, sales tanked by 25%. Uh, but the median sold price, $1.4 million there. Let's look at the Central Valley. Let's first talk about Placer County, which encompasses Roseville, Rockland, all the way until North Lake Tahoe. Uh, they're at 685,000. That's up by 2.6% year over year, but sales decrease um, uh, from last month and one year ago. Sacramento, $560,000 one year ago, 530. Therefore, we're up by 5.7%, but sales tanked compared to uh, May, and we're also down compared to one year ago as well. Not as bad as uh, San Benito, down by a whopping 36%. San Joaquin saw a gain of 2% and San Slot up by 6.2% in sales. Uh, the far north, these um, stats tend to vary quite a bit. I mean, look at here, Plumas County, their median sale price fell by 12.1% in one single month. It does not mean if you own a house that your home value decreased by 12% in one single month, likely due to the mix in sales. Other counties to note here, which I'm not going to go over are all the counties. Instead, I'll provide a link in the video description below for this. Amador County, $450,000, down 4.3%. Uh, what else are we talking about? El Dorado, just east of Sacramento, $709,000. That's up by only 1.3%, but a giant decrease down by 21% in sales from 12 months ago. And lastly, in Yolo County, the median sale price rose by 5.3%. 3% year over year, whereas Yuba County barely squeaked out a gain up by 0.4%, yet uh, sales increased from one year ago. In contrast, in Yolo County, uh, sales decreased by 14.5%. With that said, thank you so much for watching today's video. I appreciate you. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Have an amazing day.